Hello, this is your Congressman Michael Burgess. Last month, General Motors announced a recall of certain vehicles to address a fault with the ignition switch. This fault was permitting the key to inadvertently turn to the off or accessory position. A few weeks later, General Motors expanded the recall to include even more vehicles that could potentially be at risk. This expansion brought the number of vehicles subject to recall at over one and a half million. Most of these cars are in the United States. Sadly, General Motors identified 31 frontal crashes and 13 fatalities associated that may have been related to the ignition problem. But what's even more concerning is that questions have been raised about the timeliness of General Motors recall. Documents from General Motors suggest that the company was aware of these problems as early as 2001, but the recalls were not issued until last month. In accordance with these reports, the House Energy and Commerce Committee launched an investigation into General Motors and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's response to consumer complaints related to the recall issue. As a member of the committee, I and several other members have sent letters to both General Motors and to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. We have requested documents that would help us investigate this issue. We also plan on holding hearings on this topic in order to find out several things. First, what did General Motors and what did the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration know about these problems? When did they know it? And what did they do about it? We believe this investigation is really about asking the right questions and finding out what happened in order to determine if there was a problem with the response from General Motors and the, and the federal agency. We plan to obtain all of the documents necessary, interview the relative offic relevant officials, and make decisions about the appropriate next steps in order to get to the bottom of this. More than 10 years ago, the TREAD Act was passed into law. This law was a response to Ford and Firestone malfunctions and done to help prevent accidents and tragedies. We need to take a close look at the events leading up to the recall to determine if the law is working and being implemented in the way that Congress intended. We as a committee will do everything we can to ensure accidents like this that can be prevented are prevented, and this investigation is a first step in making that happen. As always, I appreciate your calls and comments on the issue. Thank you for taking the time to listen. May God bless you and your family, and as always, may God bless Texas.